Wonder Hussy here, exploring remote northern Nevada. I'm up here in the Black Rock Desert at the edge of this giant, vast dry lake bed where they hold the annual Burning Man Festival. If you've ever heard of Burning Man, this is where they have it. But there's also some hot springs out there. And if you know me, I love hot springs. They're called the Black Rock Hot Springs and they're way up on the northern side of the playa. So to get there, we're gonna drive right across the playa where the Burning Man Festival is. And we're coming in here on the 12 mile playa access road. Should be really fun to drive around this playa because during Burning Man, you're not really allowed to go, well, you're not supposed to drive much at all. And if you do drive, you can only go five miles an hour. <laughs> so it'll be uh, very cathartic for me to be able to race across this thing. Let's go. A hippie in sight. Well, except for me. Wowie, it sure is different being here when you're not surrounded by a billion people. Look at this. I'll do a 360 so you can see my surroundings. The only downside is I lost track of my friends. They took off across the lake bed and I stopped to shoot a little bit of video at the beginning and I thought I would be able to see her dust trails, but I mean, it's so vast that I have no idea where she is. So fingers crossed she ends up at the hot spring and we rendezvous there. I mean, I have it, uh, there's a little bit of cell signal out here, so I have it on my map and I have an atlas and stuff. So. And I have a compass, so I should be able to figure out how to get there. <laughs> Yikes. Yay! Woo! I found it. Man, that was hairy. I was driving around that lake bed for a while, and I kept getting into these kind of like sand dunes and soft patches, and I have to turn around, and, you know, cell service is spotty, but like I said, I had a, my compass, and I was kind of using that to guide me. So, anyways, I found it. Now I want to go for a soak, because check this out. Look how cool this is. The little wooden walkway that goes out to it. Look at this pier. How beautiful is this friggin' hot spring? It's big. See how big it is? And then look at the bottom. It looks very clean, kind of a sandy, silty bottom. Might be nice and muddy, we'll find out. Beautiful. Okay, well, I like to soak au natural, which means no bathing suit, so I don't know if I'll be able to get any video of myself actually soaking. <laughs> so you'll just have to imagine how nice and warm this water is. And I'll try to shoot some footage if I can just stay above the equator and avoid angering the YouTube sensors. Okay, I'm just going to try to stay above the equator and shoot this because oh, I wish I could show you, but I'm sitting on this pier and I took my robe off to be very careful with my crop. And oh wow, yeah, the bottom is very squishy. <laughs> and it's real, I mean, right here by the pier is the optimal temperature. It's nice. I'm not sure if you can see my feet. Oh yeah, there you go. And the ground, well, actually it's very squishy over here by the dock, but then when walking out this way, it's a little bit more hard packed. Oh, you can still see clouds of squish, look at that. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> Yay, wow, this hot spring is amazing. I'm not sure if you can see here, there's steam coming off of it. Cause it's, I, well, my car thermometer says it's only 45 degrees today. It's the first day of December actually. Ha <laughs> ha. But this water, I would guess is 10, where I am right now, 104, 105. I have a thermometer in my car. I should have brought it with me, but anyways, it's beautiful. And I'm just gonna put my phone away so that I don't accidentally, have a wardrobe malfunction or a lack of wardrobe malfunction and I'm just gonna enjoy myself. <sighs> Whew. That was a nice little soak. We only spent maybe 20 minutes here, although there is a campsite here where I guess you could stay overnight and it would be a beautiful place to camp right on the edge of this Black Rock Playa. 
but it could get pretty windy. And besides, <laughs> we have a better place we want to stay the night. We think we can find this cabin at the next hot spring we're going to. So we're going to try to snag that and stay the night in that. Look, there's even some signage and information. They ask you not to use bleach, soaps, or other chemicals. And that you camp 300 feet from the springs. That's common hot spring etiquette. And then look at this. Why well, it says California Trail, we're in Nevada, but it's the Applegate Trail, Black Rock Springs. We found this to be an oasis in the desert, a large hot spring, nearly three rods in diameter and very deep, irrigated about 20 acres of ground, the water cooling as it ran off. So said Alonzo Delano in 1849. Wow, so people have known about this spring since 1849. Can you imagine the pioneers coming across this harsh desert and stumbling on this? Unfortunately, they were so prudish, they probably wouldn't have gone in it to clean themselves off, and I'm sure they sorely needed baths by that point. Wow, look, speaking of the old immigrants, this is part of an old pioneer wagon. Holy cow, I don't think I've ever seen anything this old in my travelings. Look at those round things. Isn't that like the roof beams from like a Conestoga wagon, a prairie schooner? Can you imagine traveling across the United States in that <laughs> Those seats don't look too comfortable. Wow, that is really a cool old relic. It, I mean, got bogged down here. I wonder what happened to the pioneers if they just kept going or if they stopped and settled here. I mean, there's water-ish. <laughs> wow, there's my shadow. I put my shirt on, but I didn't put my pants on yet. But guess what? It's just my shadow, so it doesn't matter. Woo! <laughs> Take that, YouTube. Wow, really a cool old pioneer wagon. So interesting. And I think it's cool too that they have this little sign up. Please don't erase the traces of America's past. I mean, anybody who would is an idiot. Oh, goody, now look here, a trail register. I love trail registers. <laughs> look how cute. <laughs> People put their stickers in there. Mm -hmm. Hippies have been there. Oh, I know who left that. That was a friend of mine. I'll give him a little plug. If you guys are into uh, checking out the Columbia River Gorge, look at his book, Curious Gorge. He's got all these fun hikes and interesting things to do down there. Scott Cook. Let's see what's in this notebook. Look, all these people have been here as recently as November 25th. Wow, that was just the other day. Oh, wow, well, look at these people. Drove from Santa Cruz all day. They came a long way. Look at these guys. This doesn't look like Burning Man. I'll say it doesn't. Look at this guy. Nobody here. How does that happen? Oh, old Butt Nuts was here. <laughs> okay, if Old Butt Nuts signed in this, then I guess I better sign it too. So today is 12-1-2017. Beautiful soak. Great mud. So far, no might <laughs> bites. <laughs> Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the spider mites bite. Okay, driving along that beautiful desert road from the last hot spring we soaked at, which was called Black Rock, now we come to this other hot spring. Look at this, it's all fenced off and there's steam belching out of it. Applegate Trail, double hot springs. At the noon halt were several boiling springs, two of which were great curiosities, like twins standing side by side. They are about 30 feet in diameter. Here we did our washing and cooked our beans in the spring. So said Isaac Foster in 1849. Wow, old pioneer. Oh look, you can go in, but you wanna be careful because look, Danger, 175 degree water. Ouch. In case you didn't notice that, there's another sign. Danger, hot water, maybe scalding. 
And if that wasn't enough, look at this. Yikes. Stay out and stay alive. I don't know why you would want to stay out of all hot springs, but definitely this one. I think it's called Double Hot. Look, here's another trail register. Maybe we can find some information in here. Great place. Yeah, real great. Bathed in the hot tub water was magic. What? You can't bathe in this. These people are nuts. Okay, instead of signing this guest book, I'm just going to put one of my stickers in it. That way they'll know I was here. Okay, I came in through that fence and there's like a little trail you can walk in. And it's astounding that they actually trust you enough to come down here and not kill yourself. Because look at this. You can see the steam is just wafting off of this and look how much it's b bubbling. This thing is boiling hot, 175 degrees. Yikes. Look at all the steam. This is hotter than that hot creek in Mammoth it looks like. It just goes through this whole little complex and apparently some kinds of green plants are able to grow in this harsh environment. Crazy. <laughs> Yikes. I am not gonna mess around soaking in that spring because we're actually going to another hot spring anyways that's supposed to be much better to soak in, so screw that. This whole meadow, it just reminds me a lot of the meadow across from Mammoth. This whole desert meadow is full of springs. I know the sun is right behind me, so you probably can't see, but there's more steam coming from some reeds over there, too. It's crazy.